The National Security Advisory Council has asked the Supreme Court to dismiss allegations by IBC Chairman Wafule Chebukati that the council was hell-bent on interfering with the declaration of the presidential election result. Senior counsel George Oraro, while responding to questions raised by judges on whether the four members of the committee who were at BOMES knew the final results before their visit at the National Talent Center to influence the outcome, said the visit was to discuss security matters. President-elect William Ruto's team told the court that the four tried to change the will of the people of Kenya as expressed at the ballot. My learned friend. In their response on questions raised by judges on the role of the members of the National Security Advisory Council at BOMAS and whether they had prior information on the final tally of the presidential elections, President-elect William Ruto's lawyers were first to respond. My client, Professor Kithure Kindiki, in his submission before the court, said the council members had prior information on the declaration of results as the vote tallying and verification process had been completed and all the four presidential candidates had received letters of invitation to BOMAS with their families for announcement of the results. By the morning of the 15th, letters had been issued by the returning officer of the presidential election, Mr. Chebukati, to all the presidential candidates and members of their family to be at the National Tallying Center for the declaration of results at 3 p.m. on that day. And therefore, they knew that the verification tallying had been completed and what was pending was the declaration of the final result. It is our submission, Chief Justice, distinguished judges of the Supreme Court, that these four went to the National Tallying Center not for any other reason but to try to interfere with the declaration of results. The counsel through lawyer George Oraro, appointed by the Attorney General, denied the claims, saying the final results were not ready by the time the four council members finished their meeting with IABC Chairman Wafula Chebukati. To the contrary, the evidence before you by the chairman was that he had gone to tally to uh, obtain the final tally only after he had made, met the commission. And uh, that is found at paragraph 676 of his affidavit. By the admission of the chairman, he was not aware of the results until after the NS NSAC team had left. Oraro, while responding to the question on the effect of NSAC on the independence of IABC, said that the discussions at BOMA centered on the security situation in the country as there were concerns over non transmission of results and that the meeting was not to persuade the commission to moderate the presidential election results in favor of a particular candidate. NSC is a body comprised of all the heads of the security organs in this country, the head of civil service, the representative of attorney general, and other heads in the government. His purpose is to receive all the information on national security and give advice, not act, but give advice, so that even if they are of the view that it is insecure, to be in this court at this time, it is the NSC who will give advice to the judiciary. And that is not an interference with the independence. The council has asked the court to dismiss the allegations which Oraro says lacks evidence and which has led to vilification by members of the public of the four NSAC members, namely Principal Administrative Secretary at the Office of the President, Kennedy Kihara, Solicitor General, Kennedy Ogeto, Inspector General of Police, Hilary Mutiambai, and Lieutenant General, Francis Omondi Ogola, the Vice Chief of Defense Forces, who attended the meeting. The orders we are seeking is for this honorable court to dismiss the allegation by the second respondent on oath, which have not been 
accompanied with sufficient level of evidence to justify proof beyond reasonable doubt as required by the Constitution and as determined by this court in advance. And that evidence is beyond the political statements which uh, have been made by my learned friend, Professor Kendiki, just a few minutes ago. The judges have until Monday to determine whether there was sufficient evidence with respect to the interference with the independence of the Electoral Commission by the National Security Advisory Council.